Guess what time it is, guys? It's time to get uncomfortable with Ariel. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. I know a lot of times people say to you, you need to get to that space where you're done, you're over, you've reached a breaking point. I remember at one point I was like, how do I get to that point? Before we get started, I wanted to um, just introduce myself. My name is Ariel Garza. This channel is called Let's Get Uncomfortable with Ariel. The reason why it's called Let's Get Uncomfortable with Ariel is because we discuss topics of domestic violence. I was in a relationship for 10 years. It was an extremely unhealthy relationship. And the, pu the purpose of this channel is to discuss those topics, talk about those things, talk about your experiences, um, whether you're in a relationship like this now or whether you were in a relationship like this in the past. I encourage you to send me an email. The email that I have on file is lguncomfortable at gmail.com, short for let's get uncomfortable at gmail.com. If you like this video, go ahead and like it. If you dislike this video, go ahead and dislike it. I'll take either one. So let's get started. The first topic that I wrote down is recognize that you can't change someone. You tell yourself they've been through a lot, they've dealt with a lot. I'm gonna be the person that's going to make them a better human being. The sooner that you come to the realization and come to the understanding that you can't change anyone, the sooner that you're gonna be able to move on. The reason why this is number one, and this is the first topic that I wanted to discuss is, this is the easiest one to accomplish. You can't change a person, you can't force someone to change, you can't force someone to see the things that you want them to see. Um, I remember when I was in my, rela in my last relationship, a lot of times I would say to myself, you know, this person has so much potential, this person can do so many great things and he just needs to recognize that you can't make people recognize their strengths. You can't make people recognize their weaknesses. That's their job, not yours. Number two, start to get to know yourself. From the moment I woke up to the time I lay down to bed, my world revolved around my partner, which is extremely unhealthy. And when you're in this situation, you become so used to that routine and it's just normal to you. You need to practice self-love. Towards the end of my relationship, I started telling myself, you know, you've got to start doing things for yourself. You've got to start learning how to love yourself again. And I didn't know how to do that. And I Googled how to love myself. Um, and what self-love is, is just doing things that make you happy. Think to yourself, what do I like to do? What do I like to eat? What makes me happy inside? What makes me happy to get up and get out and go and do it? Go to the movies by yourself. Go get your nails done. Um... Go get some clothes. Go work out. The best investment that you can make is an investment in yourself. And I know you've probably heard that before. It's so true. It's really important for you to go out and do things that make you happy. Start building your confidence. The best way to start building your confidence is to start pretending like you have confidence. So even if you feel this small, it's okay. Start doing things that make you feel good. Put your makeup on, dress nice, do your hair. It's really hard to start doing those things. You don't even really think in your mind that that's even a possibility because you're so engulfed in this unhealthy relationship, you've forgotten how to do that and that's fine you can learn how to do that stuff again. So start practicing self-love and start practicing confidence. Number three, stay busy. Um, one good way to stay busy is to 
work out. The reason why I push working out is because you don't need someone to go work out. You don't need someone to go to the gym. I understand when you're in a relationship like this, you really isolate yourself from your family and especially your friends. So you probably don't have friends right now or you haven't talked to your friends in a while. It's okay. Start doing things that will keep you busy. Start reaching out to those friends. Start reaching out to your family. Do things that are going to keep your mind off of your relationship. Do things that are going to help you feel better about yourself. That brings me to my next topic. Make new friends. If you want to start making changes, a good way to start making those changes is by making new friends. Make friends that don't know about your relationship. Make friends who don't know your past. Make friends who aren't going to judge you. Number five, get uncomfortable. Aside from going out and focusing on yourself, making new friends, all of that is going to make you really uncomfortable. I'm telling you right now, a change like this is going to make you very uncomfortable. So prepare for that. Know that you're going to be uncomfortable. Know that you're going to be out of your element. Know that it's not going to feel good. But also know that all of this is temporary. Also know that the only way that you're going to be able to come out on the other end is by being uncomfortable. And even though you are uncomfortable, I want you to recognize that once you're uncomfortable and once you feel uncomfortable and you're feeling like, what am I doing here? This isn't where I'm supposed to be. Just know deep down in your heart that you're in the right place. Once you're uncomfortable, just get a smile on and say, you know what? I'm uncomfortable, but I'm going in the right direction and don't turn back. So prepare yourself to be uncomfortable. Don't be surprised once you are uncomfortable. And when you are at that uncomfortable stage, give yourself a pat on the back and say, you know what, girl, you got this. You know what, boy, you got this. Number six, focus on now. Don't focus on future. Focus on right now. What do you have to do right now to get yourself in a better mind space? What do you have to do right now to get yourself one step closer to getting out? Focus on today. Worry about tomorrow when it comes. Number seven, I think this is the most important, is pray. I'm not sure if you're religious. Um, and if you're not religious, it's okay. When you send me your email and when you tell me your story and when you allow me the opportunity to share it with other men and women who are in this situation and ultimately help them get out, I'm going to pray for you. Pray for you. Um, when I was in my relationship, that was my saving grace is just knowing that you don't have control. You have zero control. Um, you have zero control of why you're in this position. Everything that's supposed to happen is going to happen whether you like it or not. So just find comfort in knowing that you don't have any control. And I know that it's a scary thought to think I, I don't have any control of this situation. But it's it also should bring you peace because you should know that God is going to take care of you. And as long as you're praying to him and telling him what you need and where you want to be and, you know, just pray for the strength to be able to do these things, I promise you're going to get there. I just want you guys just to get excited. It's, you know, it is scary and it's very uncomfortable. But you know what is the best the comeback. The comeback is real. Really real. And get excited for that. Get excited for life after this. And I know it's a scary thought, but keep it moving. Keep yourself happy. Keep yourself content. Keep yourself healthy. And you're going to be good. You're going to be golden. So practice all of those techniques that I've given you. Number one, recognize you can't change someone. Number two, start to get to know yourself again. Practice self-love, practice confidence. 
do things for yourself. Number three, stay busy. Number four, make new friends. Number five, get uncomfortable. Number six, focus on now. And the last one is pray. So, if you guys have any questions for me or if you guys um, want to share your story, send me an email, lguncomfortable at gmail.com. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, thumbs down. I'll take either one. If you're excited for the next video, go ahead and comment in the comments below. Let's get uncomfortable. I appreciate you guys being here today. I believe in you. I believe that you can do this. I know that you're strong. You may not know that you're strong, but trust me, you're strong. I am so thankful to be here. I look forward to hearing from you guys, and I will see you guys soon.